Join me along with the LCBO and their partners as I mix it up with some exceptional spirits to elevate your bar cart. I'm gonna show you how to stock your bar cart like a pro. Let's do it. Every bar cart is different, but each should have sections. There's a space for your spirits, a space for your cocktail tools, and a space for your glassware. I like having special glasses that I bring out when I have guests over, like these, but we'll talk about these later. The first thing that we need to talk about is the most important thing on your bar cart the spirits. It can take a little bit of time, but it is worth the investment to stock your bar with some high quality bottles. Here are my bar cart essentials. Now we're gonna start with gin because I am a huge gin lover, especially Citadel gin. I really think that it is super smooth on the palate and there are subtle notes of juniper and citrus. I find this gin to be super well balanced and it makes an excellent gin and tonic, which is my go-to easy welcome serve for my guests. If you're looking for a gin with a little bit more complexity, I totally recommend checking out Citadel Gin Le Jardin d'Ete at the LCBO Gin Shop. My next bar cart essential is tequila. I love this Grand Mayan Ultra Aged Extra Anejo and you can find it at the tequila shop at the LCBO. It is a bit more premium, but if you're looking for a superstar bottle on your bar cart, for me, this really is it. Every bar cart deserves a statement bottle, and this Grand Mayan Ultra Aged Extra Anejo really is a statement. It is aged for a minimum of four years in ex-bourbon barrels. It is medium bodied, spicy, with a long finish. Next up on my bar cart, I always have whiskey. I am a huge Scotch lover, so I am loving this 12-year-old Macallan. It is super flavorful yet balanced, so you could drink it neat or mix it into your favorite whiskey cocktail, like an old-fashioned. I love Macallan anyway, but Scotch is super on trend right now, so it's a really good time to invest in a good bottle. And finally, no bar cart is complete without rum because you're gonna want those island-inspired cocktails. My favorite rum is absolutely Bamboo Craft. Bamboo is a Barbados classic and it is made with a 400-year-old recipe, which is a great conversation starter. For me, this is the spirit of adventure. And whenever I'm serving this up, I feel like I'm serving a vacation in a glass. If you have guests that aren't drinking, it's really nice just to make them feel welcome. So I always stock up on sparkling or flavored tonic waters. You can buy some that are infused with botanicals, which are really tasty. And now for glassware. It depends what type of evening you're hosting. You could go super traditional, or you could spice things up with some stylized vintage glasses that you've got from a thrift store. I know that vintage glassware is super on trend right now, and that's the kind of thing that I love to post on Instagram. The one thing I will say though, is if you are serving cocktails that need big ice cubes, like a lovely fall spiced old fashioned, they're gonna look and taste a lot better in a rocks glass. Like this. Next up, we have bar tools. Now, you're gonna need a jigger because it is important to serve your guests a measured drink. You'll probably want a cocktail shaker, a mixing glass, a mixing spoon, a strainer, oh, and a muddler. To be a good host, it is important that you have snacks nearby and you're gonna want plenty of water to keep your guests hydrated. And that's it. Easy, right? To get started on elevating your own bar cart and to check out this season's latest drink trends, check out lcbo.com. Oh, and before I forget, I just wanna mention the LCBO Spirit of Inclusion Initiative. This new scholarship encourages and supports women from diverse backgrounds to enter the beverage alcohol industry. To learn more, visit lcbo.com forward slash spirit of sustainability. Also, don't forget to drink responsibly and have fun building your bar cart.